this one here was uh, when they were starting to bring in women and children into, into combat, the VC war, and they knew that that was, you know, in any, it was another tool they used against us. And we had this, this we came along this road, we were sitting there, and um, uh, we were waiting for our orders to move or what we were going to do, and these children were over on this, well, a couple kids, and then the water buffaloes were here, and she kept looking over at us, kept looking at us and looking at us, and she had that poncho over, and it was just rain, it just rained and stuff like that, and she kept the poncho, and she kept moving, and she kept looking, and and so I slid down inside the gun turret and locked in on with the M6, uh, M30 on her uh, uh, position, you know, looking at to see if she was going to do anything real squirrely, you know, type thing, and pull something out. And uh, or come closer, got to come closer, and so that's when, uh, and then we got the orders to move out, and then that we pulled away and, and left, and that was uh, that was pretty spooky. What what were you saying to yourself over and over again when you were what when how, how long do you think you were locked in on there? Yeah, five ten minutes maybe. And then what were you saying to yourself over and over again while you were locked? She's only a, she's she's. A, She's the enemy, or she's the enemy, or something like that. It was just, I put it on there, uh, don't, uh, don't think good thoughts. I was trying not to think of her as a, as a kid. You had to think of her as a, an enemy. And to think of it. That's what they, on the ship, they tell us, too. You've got to look at because you're going to deal with some situations. And you've got to always remember, you've got to keep your guard up. You've got to keep your guard up. And just before that, in that same location, a guy goes over, and we're told never to pick up anything, never to pick up anything. He goes over. And we hear this boom, and it, he went over and he saw a rifle laying there, uh, 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 like a one of the Russian or whatever mm. the big VC rifles. He goes over, reaches to pick it up, and it was wired, and bl blew his arm off. You know, just and it's because they do things, they did things like that, like putting a 45 shell on a or just a shell under it with a nail and a little piece of wood, and the pressure of a you know a 65 pound pack. You know, and the pressure and weight, and you're going on like that, that blows a hole in the foot, slows down that platoon, slows down that company. And that's what that happened there. That kid blew his arm off, and he was with an infantry unit attached to us, and we'd, we'd give him a load, and we'd take off in another direction. But that's, uh, and that's the whole principle of the v Vietnam War, and that's what happens in Iraq and Afghanistan, mm -hmm. and they studied that war, and that's exact. And I got a stepson over right now, you know, he's, he's in uh, Germany right now, mm -hmm. but he's been to Afghanistan and Iraq and stuff, and the stories we compare and talk, that's what they, that's what they do. And it's just mm -hmm. door to door, the whole, the whole, this is the whole thing is just uh, like jungle warfare type stuff.